825 with this drop. Uh, Val is back with us. Reptile Rescue, Adoption and Education Society. Good to have you back here on the show. And during the break, we made friends with Violet, who you introduced us to. Uh, tell us about uh, Violet, uh, the type of snake, unique features, and uh, if she's coming into your home, what you, what you need to know. Uh, Violet is a corn snake. She's what they call a lavender corn. That's the coloring she is, so we named her Violet. Um, we don't know her age. I think she will grow a little bit more. She came in about, she came in in January and was really, really thin. And uh, so we've put all the weight back on her and she's looking for her home. Um, so she needs a good size aquarium with uh, some caves and water dish and she likes some branches and things to climb on. And uh, sorry, the daily diet for Violet is? Uh, weekly diet. She, oh, weekly. she eats uh, one mouse a week. Okay. And we buy them frozen and thaw them out as we need them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Right next to the turkey in the freezer. <laughs> and the criteria you look for, for uh, someone that's going to handle Violet and, and you know, get, give Violet what, uh, what she needs? Um, somebody that, that's calm and, and uh, can just sit and enjoy, you know, watch TV or kids do their homework or something, holding them. And corn snakes are, uh, move a little bit more than, than uh, like the ball pythons, but... Mm -hmm. um, uh, she's perfectly happy just being handled with warm hands okay. and and uh, she's not um, yeah okay who do you have in uh, in your hands here this is Vernon and Vernon is a, a what they call an NG ball python um, he's been in our care for over three years and nobody has wanted to adopt him and it's really sad because he's a really really nice snake he's quite sweet and he is uh, five years old. And what's the so, unique care with Vernon? If you're saying hasn't been adopted in three years, are there specific things uh, for, for care that Vernon needs? Um, ball pythons are known to be picky eaters. Yeah. So uh, he has gone on hunger strikes, but they all do at some point. Yeah. And, uh, and then they can be picky about what they like to eat. Um, there's, there's a few choices of like a mouse, a rat, um, African softbird rats, which is what they would eat na in their natural habitat. Oh, it's a delicacy. And, and, uh, yeah, and that's right? what he's eating now. Yeah. But um, uh, they're just, he's just keeps getting passed over. We've had so many ball pythons in care and people just keep passing him up. And uh, which is really unfortunate. He's got some nice colors on him mm -hmm. and he's got a great personality and, and, uh, just nobody has wanted them for over three years. I gotta say, I love how calm it is, just holding them. Yeah. It's very chill here. Uh, and you brought a third. Megan, our producer, uh, is holding, who, who's this? This is Leo. Mm -hmm. uh, Leo came in with Violet. Leo and Violet are two of 24 animals that came in in January. And uh, we have, I think, three left from that group. And, and Megan, what does this feel like? Is this is this intimidating or is it calming? You know, it's a really beautiful creature. Yeah. I could feel his heart beating, but I think it actually might have been mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is Megan's first time on camera too, doing a great job, by the way. And here I am looking at the camera like a real amateur. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, snakes can can you uh, adopt at one time? Because if you're bringing more than one into the home, they have to be in separate spaces, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can't keep them together. Um, even like the the real ethical breeders don't keep them together they put them together to breed and then they separate them again okay um, so even yeah so even the breeders don't keep them together okay so we got three uh, three snakes about are we, are we gonna do the lizard do we have time for the lizard um, we can try okay the lizard is a crested gecko mm -hmm. and he's really really jumpy Okay. So sorry, I'll just get rid of Vernon. We need some separation from the snake and lizard. Megan, thanks. Great work today. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to put the website uh, uh, on our Facebook page as well so you can find out. But before we go... I do have a new website. Let's see. What's the new website? Uh, it is... Is it adoptapet.com yeah. slash reptile rescue Richmond? Yes. <laughs> just a wild guess. <laughs> wild guess. Okay, we got to see this lizard before we go. I'll okay. Keep, I'll keep Violet away too. This is Kelso. He came in with... Uh, he came in in September. He's going to jump. Uh, oh, wow. He's a crested gecko. They're super cute. Um, they got adorable little faces. And, and uh, uh, they are jumpy, though. They, they like to jump. He's, he's in that stance right now. They get sort of a frog butt looking legs ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, they come in a variety of colors and stripes and patterns and, and everything, but uh, we've had him since September of last year. And uh, we, I think we had nine crested geckos, and he, he's the last of the nine. Okay. And, uh, but he's, he's, he's really cute. So a lot of options. We've got snakes. We've got the lizard. Val, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, that uh, website, again, we'll put on our Facebook page. Um, I think I like Violet. I might keep her. We'll see. Oh, good. Goes. Greg Hartford <laughs> on location over at UBC.